all right guys welcome to the channel and in this video today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to learn final cut pro as quickly as possible okay so i'm going to assume you are a complete beginner i'm going to assume you just got out of a cave and you're a caveman i'm just going to assume you are my grandma and i'm trying to teach you how to learn final cut pro the easiest way so i'm gonna assume you are my grandma and you've never opened final cut pro in your life but you have some you know you want to edit anyways so here's how you do it assuming you are a complete beginner so what you do is you open um, the software is open right now and um yeah so this is what you're gonna see this is the interface right here so this is the um where you're going to see all your videos this is a display where you're going to see all your videos and um this is going to be the inspector and this is where you import videos and this is the timeline right here and this is uh your browser where you're going to be getting your videos where you're going to have all your effects and stuff like the text and stuff anyways don't worry about that so what you're going to do you're going to see all this when you first open final cut pro so what you want to do is, of course, you want to bring footage into the software so you can edit it, right? So you can do that and there's two ways to do that, right? So, um, okay, so first you need to create an event in Final Cut Pro. There's these things called events. So you have to have a library here and um, you can uh, be clicked on your library and then go to file and then you can click uh, create you can create a new event or you can just left click on it like on the library and create new event um so new event and then you name the event whatever you want to name it so in this case we're just going to name the event um test okay test there we go so there you go if you got multiple libraries you can even choose where you want to uh put the the library right so there you go so test and then you click OK so if you and then you click OK so I'm assuming you are a complete beginner that's why I'm doing this so and then on the test here on the event this is the your event right where your projects are going to be so you can now left click here and um, uh, create a new project that you're going to be working on you know so every video is a project right so there you go you create a new project here and then just name it um my first youtube video assuming somebody wants to create a youtube channel or whatever is watching this right so this is your project so i always like doing this i don't like creating projects after i've put footage already in here um i like having a project projects already in here so that's what you do guys so you have your library here and if you don't have any library in here if you don't have anything don't worry about it you can go up here and you can actually create a new library if you want so in this case we already had a library in here that i created called new library and then in the library we created an event and this is the event you can name the event what you want so we had test we can rename it to so first yt video is what we're going to name this um, event so there you go so you can change the name of the event if you want so in this case let's just leave it as first uh youtube video and then in the event we're gonna now create the project so you can create multiple projects in here but usually i have one project per event that's how i like to keep it organized so um after you create your first um project right here which you can also change the name of the project anytime you want right so we're just going to leave it as my first um youtube video so it's the name of the project so now you want to um import video into um this uh this area right here that's where all your videos are going to be right so you can left click and then the import video is going to come and you can import the video so that's the right way to do it that's how final cut wants you to do it but um some people who like to drag and drop footage can just go here and they have their footage let's say in this folder right 
Um, let me see. They have their footage in this folder, vlog. And then um, they just drag their footage and then they can just drop it here, right? So usually I don't do that, but you can do that. You can drag and drop footage. You can also uh, drop the footage on the timeline if you want, but I really don't recommend that you do that. So you go to the import and then as you can see here, we can go down here. That was my vlog footage and you can um, actually get that same footage. And the good thing with when you come to import is you can actually, you can actually go through the, the, the video clips here if you want, you know. So you can look at the footage here. You can look at the footage, but no, you can't, um, you know, you can't like trim what you want and blah, blah, blah. No, you in here, you get the whole clip. This is not where you trim and do nothing. So this is just where you get all the footage. So let's say I want to get uh, this footage right here. So I'll just import, right? So you can get as much footage as you want. And also, if you want, you can get the whole folder where all your footage is at. You can get the whole folder and bring it into um, your project over there. So you can do whatever you want. Same thing. It's not going to take that much time unless maybe you have like 8K or whatever footage. But yeah, so in this case, we just want to get um, just this clip right here, right? This video here. So in here, the good thing with on this side, I mean, you can probably go through this later. These settings are for later. But when you're just starting, um, what I would just like you to do is just focus on right here where it says files. Just make sure you leave files in place. Don't copy the files to the library. Just leave files in place. So that way, again, you're going to save more space if you do that on your computer. Okay, so just leave because it's like you are recopying the files again. You know, it's like um, moving files from SD card to the computer. You, you know, you generating more um, space. So just leave the files in place. So just focus on that. Just leave the files in, in place there. Uh, you can unclick this if you want. And um, don't worry about all this for right now. Okay, so close window after import after uh, import starts. If you want to do that, you can do that. If not, not. But just um, click on the footage you want and then import. That's what I like about Final Cut Pro because Final Cut Pro, I feel like it's way faster than Premiere Pro. But then again, somebody be like, oh, it depends on your computer, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so here we go. So we have the footage in here, right? So this is the footage we want to edit and um, export. So what we do is uh, you can just grab this footage, drop it on your timeline. So if um, you are a beginner, I don't want you to do this, right? I don't want you to just drop your footage here. Because the thing is like if you drop your footage here and let's say you want to cut off this part, right? So then I'm going into editing and stuff. You want to cut off this part. The thing is like... Um, if you put your footage in here, it's always going to go back. You can't move it or you can't, let's say, put add space and have it start there. So what I would like you to do if you are a beginner is um, we adjust. Um, let's take this footage out of here. What I want you to do as a beginner is press P on your keyboard. And then P is going to bring up the position tool, which is this tool right here, the position tool. So you can drag your footage, you can bring your footage in, and you can put it anywhere on the timeline where you want it to be. And that will create this thing right here. It will create this empty block right here. So after you do that, um, go in the tool right here and um, um, click the select, or you can just press A, right? So this um, with the select, you can move move about your um, video clips. So, yeah, so that's another thing. So when you go here, the select, you can move about your clips. And then right here, these are the tools you can. I don't really use this, but I only use this to select tool to move clips about and the A to position clips from here to just without um to position clips, right? That's what I use that for. And I use the, the blade tool to cut clips. 
there you go so once you select the tool you have to press another you have to select another tool for you to use another tool because it's going to stay on the same tool so there you go so let's say i want to move um this clip to be the beginning clip i can just do that see i can just move it that right there and then there'll be space here i can also like um readjust any of these clips you know what i mean but the problem with not having this here is um, let's say uh, we just put this down here, right? And then we cut the we cut through the footage. So the the badness with doing that, and then we go back to the A. The badness with doing that, if let's say you want this to be the beginning, when automatically as soon as you move that clip, um, Final Cut Pro just snaps um, the footage back into place because it's like this is the main right here is the main uh footage right here that needs to go down here so when you move that it snaps back like it just it does that you know so that's what i hate about um not doing the position too so you can also have this and you can adjust this as you want and now if you want you can also just move your files on top of the block and do what you want but um to begin with To begin with, I just like to um, select the P2 and position the two, the, the clips where I want them to be, right? And um, yeah, and then click the A and I can move them about. And then uh, the B2, B2, you can uh, either B on your keyboard or you can press B to bring up the blade to chop the footage up and do all that. So I'm gonna have a video, um, a simple video, simplified video and how you can edit um, your videos on the timeline. So that video is just going to be about Final Cut Pro timeline, just about the timeline on how to work on the timeline, how to move your files about, just simple things that you can do to get your video out on YouTube or wherever you want to get it out to. Okay, so now, um, now that you have your video, let's say you want to export your video, you just go here. And then you click export right uh, here on share. You go on share and then you share it if you want DVD, master file, which is usually what I do. Um, I don't usually do any of this because I can I can select anything. I can choose the settings when I go to master file. I can select the settings that I want um, to export my video to. So when I go to settings, I can, you know um format right here you want to choose video and audio because you don't want just the video no audio or audio no video and down here you can either click apple devices if you are putting it on an apple thing but usually just go on video and audio and then from there you go to codec um video codec and usually you want to just put it on h uh dot 264 this is good um this is good quality right here most videos on YouTube are this quality, but um, if you want, of course, higher quality, you go up this way. Okay, so you can go up, and um, the higher you go up this way, you see that um, your export size changes right here. So if you go up, now you're gonna, it's gonna change. You go up to HQ high quality, it changes to three gigabytes. You go up to that, it changes to seven gigabytes. And this is just a two minute video here. And, uh, you know, this is a lot of, sp <clears throat> a lot of space right here. This is a huge file. So this is good enough. It's going to come out same quality, honestly. So this is good enough. And then you just um, click next and then it's going to show, it's going to ask you where you want to export the video to and you can go from there. So yeah, so that's, that's how you do it. That's how you edit. That's how, um, that's Premiere Pro quick tutorial for the beginners okay that's how you do it but um just to get a little bit more advanced here since somebody might be like oh you're not showing us the whole interface okay let me just go over the interface real quick 